Welcome to our Schechtel Autoprof CNC control for folding machines. We would like to give you a short overview of the features and operation of our control. After turning on the machine, the startup screen appears. The control has to be calibrated after each startup. Follow the cursor finger and push the upper beam down button. Then button bending beam and again two times upper beam up. Finally push the back gauge button. Start the actual bending program. Immediately you see the main screen with the last use profile. The easiest way to run the machine is the easy mode. All you need to do is to enter the bending angle in the second column, choose your material and start the sequence. If you also want to use the back gauge, enter your dimension in the first column and start the sequence again. Surely the main advantage of the control is the possibility to store programs in order to use the data for similar profiles without having to enter the dimensions again. List all available profiles with a display button. Use the back and forward button to scroll through your programs. When you found a profile you need, just touch the icon on the screen and you will find name, blank size and material in a separate window. The Load Program button will bring your profile to the main screen. If you don't want to change dimensions, just press the Auto button and the machine is ready to bend your profile. On screen you can see how to put your part into the machine for each bend and watch the elements move in real time. You also get info when to turn or rotate your part. When the last bend is done, the sequence starts over again and shows your blank, ready for the first bend. The main screen has different groups of buttons. On the top end are the profile headers with program name and number, cut size, a pull-down menu with a choice of the most common materials, and allocation of material thickness from 0.5 up to 6 mm. In the top right corner are the program administration functions for creating new profiles and for listing and searching profiles. The admin button leads to all submenu for system administration. In the row underneath are the functions for saving, copying and deleting profiles. With a zoom function, you can change the visible size of your profile on the screen. On the right side of the screen are the functions for program editing. For painted materials, you may determine whether paint is on top or bottom side when starting the process. In the first row, you will find the buttons for material handling like Turn, Rotate and Reclamp element. In the second row, there is the submenu for boxes to bend part on all four sides. Cursor up button and the button to activate the scroll function. Fourth row starts with the Power Mode button to modify the speed of the folding beam. Step Bending to form radius and the button to switch between two or three dimensional. At the bottom of the screen, you will find the actual and the following program line of the present profile. Each line has a sub-sequential number, value for the back gauge, symbols for material rotations, and a column for the bending angle. The bending angle correction compensates the material spring back when doing radius work. Upper beam lift up is important when parts must be turned around. And so is the column for open hems. And in the final column for the number of loops to form radius. In the right corner are the buttons for the three main modes. 
Edit Mode, Easy Mode and Automatic Mode. In order to save time for programming parts, it is very important to be able to find similar profiles in memory fast and easy. To find profiles, you may not only scroll through all icons, but search for profiles by their name. Just enter the first letter, for example F, touch the search button and all profiles with this particular initial letter will be listed. Touching the name will preview the profile and its main data and a second push on the load button will bring it into the main screen. Another way to find profiles is to draw the shape onto a touchpad. Just transfer your profile with a pen to the screen and start Profile Search. Immediately you will get four existing profiles which come closest to your drawing. Now all you have to do is to touch the Profiles icon, load it into the main screen and here we go. If your material has a painted side, please enter your paint top or bottom side information and your cut size. This will also change the scale of the beam symbols on the screen. Then enter your material and material thickness. It is recommended to name your profiles. Just touch the name area and the keyboard opens on the screen. Now we will show you how to program a panel for a facade. Let's start with the first back edge position and the profile will immediately change accordingly. After entering the bending angle, you will get a first impression of your profile on screen. As we do not need an additional lift up of the upper beam, we go to the next line with the cursor down to enter the next back edge value. Now we have to flip the profile. The third operation is to rotate our part and to hem it. To program a hem, enter a value into this column. To carry on, we have to reclamp our part onto flange number zero. Enter new back edge value, rotate and turn it around, 90 degrees bending angle and groove side is ready. Let's start with the opposite side. The logic is the same. Enter new back edge value, turn your profile if needed and enter bending angle. If the next band is out of sequence, reclamp your profile to the next flange number and the basic logic starts over again. When your program is ready, push the automatic button and start bending your profile. Zooming, scrolling and profile correction assist your programming process. Zooming and scrolling improves the visibility of large parts on the screen. The cursor buttons move them on the screen and make profile correction very easy. Change flange dimensions and angles Touch them and modify your data. You can also list all flange dimensions. Each modification is immediately shown on screen. With 3D function, you will get a better impression of your profile. The parameter menu includes a tool library of different styles of bending and upper bar tools. If you accidentally choose a tool which exceeds the maximum possible bending angle, an error message appears.
Each material and thickness has parameters allocated to compensate for material spring back and to adjust clamping beam pressure. You can modify the material parameters in a separate submenu. Each color stands for a different material and can be changed. Moreover, you can set individual bending angle correction factors for each material. The Admin button brings up the system parameters. They show the present software version and a button to protect your basic machine data with a password. You can also choose from a great variety of languages and between metric and imperial format. The control frequently saves all changes automatically. You can also store your changes manually with a save button. We hope you have enjoyed our tour through the basic features of Schechtel CNC Autoprof Control. For further information or a free demo, please contact us. Because Schechtel has got a solution.